Hello and welcome to second round coverage of the 2018 Idlewild Open here in Burlington, Kentucky. I'm Paul Euliberry, joined by AJ Risley. Hello. And I we, am him. <laughs> we have a stat card for you guys. Paul McBeth, James Conrad, Zach Melton, Gary Costa. Yep. Um, We're going second round. We're uh, following the, the last card to tee off. We had a bit of uh, weather issues on the first day, so everybody played the second round with the same group that they played with for the first yes, round. Sir. So hole one, par four, 638 feet, 194 meters. A little um, downhill. Yeah, you can really let it rip on this first shot, and I'm sure we'll see exactly that with a couple bombers in Paul McBeth, James first Conrad. Oh, yes, we will. And maybe Gary Costa. Let's see. Yeah. Gary Costa. Yeah, local fan favorite, obviously. Big roar from the from the crowd. Oh yeah. And he definitely has some power. I played with him before. He's got okay. all all kinds of skills. Yeah, I think I played with him here last year. And gets that turned over. This is going to be perfect. Great shape. Yep. Right down the oh, middle of the field. Look fairway. at it. Uh. With the skip. Dang. Look at that crowd. Look at how nice the weather is right now. Ooh. That's a nice title to have. <laughs> and if you've never seen James Conrad play, he's he can absolutely crush. Super smooth in the woods. Great putter shots and a really good putter all around. Great player. And wow. Yeah, that was... Hair on point. Yes. Both... All the hair on his head. Point. All the hair above his neck, above his shoulders. And this is flexing out. To Dude. Be circle one. Get in circle one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. That was huge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ooh. From the champ. Oh, my God. And he's wearing his 18 under shirt. <laughs> he is. That's scary. Paul Macbeth, I'm. What do you think? Circle one? No, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. It looks circle ish. Uh, yeah, just. Uh, I gave him too much credit. He's Dang it. he's slipping. Oh. He <laughs> that was going way deep. I hate when I do that. <laughs> and from Gray, Tennessee. And, Getting the fan oh vote boy. onto this card. Well deserved. <laughs> yes, sir. He's got the sunglasses on. He's got the yeah, the sunglasses, headband, also hair just all over his Isn't that head. a song? Headband no makeup on. <laughs> yeah. Sweat pants in here. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's Drake. That's his first single. Good job. Dude. Wow. Ooh. That wasn't even like a flex shot or anything. That was just Heiser flip. And, and Kaboom. And Zach's not really known for having, you know, all the power, but that was... He's got plenty. Though. Yeah, but he's got sneaky and, distance, as you can see. Yeah, you're going to learn today. Oh, easy peasy. Costa, nice little approach. He'll be able to get that one up and in, I'm sure. And Zach, just inside circle two. Give it to him. Oh, Ooh. gets a little metal. Nice. That's some metal. This was the. This was nice. It was. Uh, we started off the this round with the easiest hole on the course. A little half stroke under par. Dude, that guy behind Paul looked serious. Yep, easy birdie. James Conrad. Let's see if he can start off with a big. Oh man. But that's nice to be able to start off with a miss putt and an easy birdie. Yeah, and a high putt too. That I mean, yeah, he <laughs> he's the, the, yeah. the PLP. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, don't give it away. Oh, there it is. But we had a uh, we had three uh, eagles on this hole for the second round, and oh. I got to see one of them, Chris Dickerson. He did it. He almost aced it. Wow. Oh. He was behind the basket to the left. Oh. All the claps and waves for Starframe. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hole two, par four, 509 feet, 155 meters. 
the play is probably going to be maybe a couple turnovers, maybe a hyzer from Zach Melton to exactly where Keith Emerson or Emerson Keith, mind Keith, you, comma Emerson, yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Is playing to the green right here. You got to carry this nice little pawn. Luckily, you have a barrier if you get a little too skippy skippy. Ooh, ooh. Might, might and a, a little uh, yeah, it might hold you in bounds there. <laughs> a little slope to play like a backstop. Gary says I ain't giving up my box to nobody except for yeah, you unless guys he on goes OB. Oh, ooh, little local nobody. love. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> And James looks like he's got either a... Is he going for the green? I don't know. He's got a T-Bird or a Thunderbird or something. Plays it perfectly. Just, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Right on the open, that bird's like, I ain't scared. Yeah, whatever. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're, we're live over here. <laughs> Paul's going with the sidearm. I, mm -hmm. I knew there was going to be one. Yeah. Makes sense. He just hit that, hit that gap and... Get at any Bounce maybe. forward? Ooh. Oh, no. Eh, he'll still have pretty wide open shot into the green from there. Zach with the hyzer. And playing the perfectly little, oh, no. Perfectly placed tree Gosh. in the fairway. I was, I was going to say, like, oh, he's going wide hyzer. And, uh, oh, no. Get over that bush. Oh, it does. Whoa. Yes. Oh, man. Step up for birdie. What a shot. Jeez, that's some trust right there. He didn't trust it. You don't think he <laughs> I shot think him. he said, oh, man, as he released <laughs> it, and he cleared the bush, and then all kinds of crazy stuff happened. Here's Gary playing the high hyzer. This actually looks pretty good. Sit down. He yes. said, I ain't giving up the box to nobody. Yeah, he wants it. He yeah. wants that box. Paul Macbeth has a tricky lie. And he says, uh -oh. oh, no, that looks like it's leaking. He needs to catch that barrier. And he doesn't. Ouch. Mm. Yeah, that was a little obstructed run-up. Yeah. And, and the thing about that that second shot, if you're not far he, enough like James is, you're throwing your immediate uphill, and it kind of throws it, you off. And it looks like he's <laughs> leaking as well. Catch something. Come on. Okay, yeah, he it, does. And it does. Those little barriers. Jeez. Man, my commentary skills are on point today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if we're cutting from A cam to B cam. You are just, you just know what the discs are doing. He leaves and, that one a little low. Take, uh, he's going to take par. It looked like they gave Macbeth the island, though. You think? Yeah, they he crossed over the corner. Oh. Ooh, nice putt. Ooh, with Great birdie. Yeah, fan was, wave. Swag. Hashtag swagging. The swagging wagon. Swagging wagon. <laughs> That's when you're on a birdie train. The swagging wagon. Uh. Paul did get, he did they get gave the, him the beneficial call. Yeah, sure. call, yeah, makes the putt for yep. par. So it's a good par, honestly. And what a professional he's taken the, oh, the spotters gave him that mark because mm -hmm. he had the white yep. flag in his hand. No, Gary. And he gave up the, the pad. Yeah, gave up the box. Oh. Yeah, what are you going to do? The cool thing is, though, he, if he gets a few more birdies, he might be able to get it back. Yes, he's going <laughs> to, yes. <laughs> Wow, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Great insight. No problem. <laughs> Hole 3, four, three 407 feet, 124 meters. I really love this hole. Um, OB so do left, I. you know, bunker trees on the right. You just have to play a straight shot. Gravity is going to want you not to play a straight shot. It's going to pull you left. So yep. maybe a flippy disc that kind of corkscrews down there over this little creek that is not OB that plays as casual. Yep. And gives yourself a pretty putt. Thanks for the box. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I, Oh, Ooh, look at He is just... Get there. Wow. That was awesome looking. So the that last... That was really that cool. Was re, yeah, that was very cool. Just Why like his... Get a, come on. Where's the follow flight? <laughs> ah. Backdoor, he's Cost, calling yeah, it. Costa asks, asking for backdoor, but just... Hey. Oh, sit down, boo. Settle. Boo. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, he was kind of right in between front door and back door there, and unfortunately, there's just no side door on this house. Yeah, that's called bunker trees. Placed there for a reason. James, oh, he's he's going back door. He, this might be yeah. wide enough, actually. He f yeah, he found the found the back door, but <laughs> didn't quite didn't quite fade back. 
I've seen him make longer putts than that, though. Uh, He's going to give the basket a scare. I guarantee it. Paul McBeth, not feeling great about the par on the last hole. I'm expecting him this to be pretty good, and it is. I think he... Just outside the circle. Yeah. And I don't know. Have you ever seen him make a putt longer than that? Meh. I've never seen him miss one, if that's what you mean. I haven't seen him make a putt longer than that today. Ooh. I'm guessing he's going to make one longer than that today. <laughs> Here's James. Oh, he's not that bad. He's like 45. Oh! Give him a slow miss. He's a... Oh, that looked Good great. Good night. Wow. That's, that's going to be on the best of. That was awesome. Paul Macbeth wanting to do the same. Leaves it oh. a little bit low. A little bit low. Checks the wind. It might have dropped. Oh, I don't know. I think he just missed he's it. looking down at the basket. He's trying to keep it low. He doesn't want to nice sky Zach. it over the basket. But Zach off to a Whoa. great start this round. Gobble, gobble. And it's, I don't want to say it's easy to do, but it's what a lot of people, a lot of players are going for because that is the fourth easiest hole on the course. Okay. Hole three is. And that Which shows is, you how hard this course is because this is not an easy get. Not, not an easy hole, yeah. What do we got here? AJ? But now we got hole four, par three. It's a big, it's a mash. It's 432 feet, a little bit uphill, but and you got a big tree on your right side, kind of pinching you off, and then OB, OB pond left, cart path up on the right side, and. It's, I don't know, it's anyone's game here. Yeah. Just. And with the power that Zach showed on hole one, I have no doubt that he can get this one to at least circle two. Yeah. And he's playing semi-conservative. Yeah. And he, he'll be able to give that a run. It's yeah. going to be tough being, uh, or it's going to be easier for him being left-handed, maybe be able to make a run at that yeah. high, high-rise basket. Here's yeah. James playing, I'm guessing T-Bird. I'm hoping T-Bird. Get in the hole. Jeez. Seriously, get Dude. in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. Great shot. Yeah. Wow, that was really good. Oh, follow wow. Flight. He's getting it all. Get slow uh. miss, follow flight. Look at this beautiful wow. flight. Full flex. And then what's impressive is it's out of energy and it's going to land really soft. Because this is really easy to filter down, down yeah. left outside the circle. Right? Very true. Beautiful. And it went almost in. It almost went in. <laughs> At least the fall flight did. And he's going roller. Whoa. But this needs to not flip. Please don't flip. Don't flip. Oh, watch out, everybody. Kick it back in. That's going to be OB. Yeah. It's a it's a safe play unless you yank it kind of like he did. He got it a little too right. high maybe. Um, but I've seen other rollers. Um Kind of work out. There's Paul. Man, that might be a little too much turn. Uh, oh, oh in the well. crowd. That guy tried to that guy push was, it in. Yeah, he's trying to help. Water bottle. He's definitely a Macbeth fan. Come on. Get in. <laughs> Gary. Uh-oh. And here comes the rain. Here comes the wind. Here comes the rain. Good. Good result there. God. Yeah, it looks this brutal. is not fun. I think I... Oh, whoa. 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 Oh. Yeah, he was. Aim you could see his eyes. He was aiming down. Yeah, he was. And that was probably a gator too. And that's unfortunate because Zach had a you know a really great driving. He wasn't even able to run it because right. the weather changed so much. Yeah, and he just, was. You yeah. know, looked like three minutes. <clears throat> when he was on the tee, he was he was thinking, "Yes, I get to run this putt." And then he walks down the fairway, and he's like, "I will never run this putt." And James. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, like, he went from having a gimme to having to putt in rain and wind. On an elevated basket. And here's Paul stuttering for some reason. Ooh. But he gets double bogey. Oh, no. That is brutal. And James tapping in for par. Zach and Gary tapping in for boat. Or Zach, par, Gary bogey. Yep.
Okay. Hole five, par four, 555 feet, 169 meters. This hole's playing downhill. OB Creek to the left that you can see there. The drone is going to fly through this fairway or slash landing zone that you want to get to from the tee, but that's super hard to access. You'll see backhand turnovers, hyzer from Zach, and maybe a couple rollers. Maybe a roller, but who knows in this, this rain. And this looks pretty good. Jeez. Yeah, this looks really good. Oh, he's loving that. Oh, yeah. It's still oh. gonna be. It's gonna be a really tough upshot from there. He's gonna have two hundred yeah, feet. Yeah, because he's it. based on the biggest tree in the fairway. That's <laughs> come in the on forest. Now. Oh no! Stay this up. is gonna cut roll. Oh! Let's see if it Sit can catch down. a lucky tree, maybe, or cut beforehand. Wow! Yeah. He gets Man, green. I, yeah. I think he gets the green paddle. He threw it just bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> Costa. Was that? Trying to be a roller. Let's see if he can throw it just bad enough. Oh, Man, what a tree. Good break on that one. I'm going to guess he was going for turnover to flex. Paul, but I was... Roller. And this is almost a safe play in this con in these conditions. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna be a lot shorter than, than you want, though. True. It's going to be tough to access that green. He might just But he's be, safe. Yeah, and then um, you, can, you can throw it to the barrier which you'll see on James's upshot here, and then play it for the 30-footer or so, and he catches a tree. And James, James is just drenched. Yeah. But if you've ever talked to him about weather play, he, he'll he tell you that layers are his worst enemy, and he'll be just fine with like 10 pounds of water on him. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. <laughs> I'll go on sidearm roller. Hit those boards. What a play. Wow. That's that's a legitimate play. That's scary though. It's, that is scary. It can be yeah, it can be scary, but <laughs> no. Oh, he's gonna have to make about a 45 footer for birdie now. James needs to lay this up for par. He is drenched. Wow. <laughs> Give it to him. Oh, Whoa. What a run. That would have been the range is coming down. This, it, in order to play in these kind of conditions, is so tough because. Oh, oh where are you going? Ah, uh, no miss. Oh, he got a no miss. <laughs> Look at it. He thought he had it. Oh man, and his <laughs> Gary with the lean back. Oh, Zach, I'm sorry. Oh, Ooh. what a birdie from Paul Macbeth. He was way back. Dead center. You want to grab uh, Want me to grab that? <laughs> Help me out, man. Hey, Zach with the one-handed. Mm. Well, every, every time you putt, it's one-handed. So yeah, that was, really, that was silly of me. I'm stupid. <laughs> Nice putt. Oh, that was a stupid person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James with a one-handed putt too there. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Hole six, par three, 437 feet, 133 meters in the beautiful conditions. This drone's that. able to so navigate nice. the fairway really easily. I bet you can throw such a clean <laughs> roller on this hole yeah. right at this moment that we're looking at yeah. right now. It looks so inviting. And that's a good play as a roller, but unfortunately, we're in the middle of a monsoon, and who knows what's gonna happen. Paul's going with a backhand turnover, and he he's a he's an amazing player. So he doesn't need do a that. roller. That was great. That was that had to be so close to those trees on the right. That's the only way. Zach's going sidearm turnover. Smart and play. He's yeah. gonna have to earn it, dude. <laughs> James, fresh out the shower. <laughs> Like you got a nice turn on it. It might be flexing out though. Mm. Circle two. Oh yeah. Yep. You'll have a putt there. That's gonna be wide open. That's a great shot, even in Ooh, drone his, conditions. Yeah, this is Gary's roller disc. Oh. That's flying. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> that was so 
he tried to roll it on that one hole and went OB, remember? <laughs> yeah, but he like really cranked it and Anheuser and everything. I did bad again. It's okay. Good uh, up shot from Zach there. Yeah. Have a 25 footer for par. <clears throat> yep. Yep. That'll do. All right, James. 50 feet. Give the people what they want. Two slow messes. He's so wet. Like, how is he able to do that? Gosh, I dude. I don't think I would even run it. That's also going to be on the best of video. Best of 2018. Gosh, I can't believe how, how wet he was when he made it. It's, yeah, I, I don't even... Yeah. Speechless. Words are escaping me. Not him, mm. though. That, Too easy. Yes. Oh, watch watch out, watch out. <laughs> what are those dogs? The the big shaggy ones like Poodles? The the Newfoundland. Is that the is that the, the I breed? I was thinking poodle. Poodle? Yeah. But the one where like you can't even see its eyes. Right. That's how shaggy and hairy it is. Here is as a Melton reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hole seven, let's go. Par four, four eighty four, dog leg. Up the hill, through the trees. Grandma's house is somewhere over the river and through the woods. Yeah, pack a lunch on this one. Yeah. If you do not hit this gap that Paul McBeth is trying to navigate, which he does not, oh, no. you're probably going out of bounds, which I'm guessing that's OB. No? Maybe. It's safe, so that's great. <laughs> okay. But it could have been very easily out of bounds. And once you go OB, you have to go to the drop zone. This is a beautiful shot. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. Hit the gap wow, with some Anheuser. That is so good. The wetter is it even raining? Rat gets the better he gets. It's crazy. Here's the wetter the better, James Conrad. Melton. Throwing his warden. He loves that disc, and for that's good why. reason. Yeah, Great shot. Really, really well. So Paul, I think, is short of the Ob Creek. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. see what Gary's got. He needs help. And he gets it. Wow. Yes. Great Oof. result. Yeah, Paul yeah. was just short. And now he has a tough task. That's really good. But now wow. he's gonna be he's gonna be on the mud Ooh. uphill. That's not easy, you know. You're right. He have, should be on the gravel like like Gary. He should have thought of that day before he he is. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice shot, Gary. Very good shot. Circle's edge for birdie. Up the hill is tough. I mean, up the hill, low ceiling, tight line. This just shows you uh, what level these guys are playing at because this is such a tough hole, and they're doing it in just the absolute worst conditions. Yeah. Not, not favorable. And Zach didn't really like it out of his hand. He kind of pulled it a little to the right, but he didn't hit a tree, so he's got a circle's edge putt. And Paul has to do this from a standstill to save par. He has to get up and down to save par, and he doesn't. <sighs> and now he has about a 80-footer. Yeah, just a tough hole. Very tough. You got to be in some... And James looks like he has the best footing, but he... Super tight. Yes. Yeah. Eh, and I don't know. There you go. Well, yeah. Well. But he well, got. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he'd be able to get that up and down for par at least, which is great on this hole. The what, it, yeah, it, it is. In, I wonder. I wonder what the average score was for this round. If only there was some way we could find out. What? Udisclive.com. Seventh hardest hole, and it's hole seven. That's cool. 77. Oh. <laughs> if you put those two numbers by side by side, that's what you get. That's what you get for my first round Give score. It to me. Dude. If he got a slow mez, uh. then, or a no mez, then a slow mez. No mez and slow mez. Wow. That was straddle, uphill, gap city. Hung on 
for Paul's, the birdies. Paul's struggling on this front nine a little bit. I say that as he just got a really tough birdie on the hole before, but. <laughs> <laughs> nice putt. Good putt. Wow. Great birdie. Good birdie. In the rain. That's. <sighs> wow. Yeah, this whole plays, this whole for the field averaged over par. 4.4. And while it was raining, averaged. <laughs> <laughs> averaged a lot. <laughs> over par. Paul tapping in for double bogey. Uh, okay. Let's let's just seconds, please. Hole eight, par five. Lots of trees. But there's a couple. There's some routes here. You can you can make make things happen. But you gotta. You just need to be in the middle of the fairway if you want to get away with the par or hopefully a birdie. Zach's going with the flip up sidearm, I mean, and that looks really good. Very, Very good. really good. Miss that stuff, and he'll be happy with that result. It's really a 250 foot, 250 foot, 250 foot type shot hole. Because I think this 560 or 576 feet is maybe by the, by the crow fly. Yeah, you might. Yeah, you might be honest. I think something it plays there. a little further with I your shots. I, I think you're right. Yeah, maybe straight on. It's that far, but the way you have to throw these shots, I feel like it plays a little bit further because he's throwing at least 250 foot right there. Mm -hmm. Then you're throwing another 200 foot shot, and then yeah. I feel like a 200 foot shot from there. Yeah, the basket is is way down there at the end of the tunnel. It's not. It's not like okay. All you got to do is clear the hill. No, nope, you got to clear the hill and then continue to progress. Right. That's a good shot from Paul. Yeah. Yeah, four decent shots in the rain on one of the hardest holes on the course. I guess he's probably thrown about yeah, 200 feet there. Now he's in really good position for a sidearm from there. But James mm -hmm. doesn't throw a lot of sidearms, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do from that position. Paul throwing the flex sidearm up there. Oh, good tree. Circle two. He might have a run at this. Yeah, that'd be scary. Yeah. I just got scared thinking about him <laughs> running it. <laughs> okay, with the pop sidearm. Perfect, mm. perfect position. Yeah. And, I mean, if he would have missed that tree, maybe would have gotten an extra 50 feet, but... Any extra he's feet fine. for foot or feet... <laughs> toes any extra inches on this hole you really everything adds up yes feet feet <laughs> hey look at that he, he threw a sidearm yeah and, and he's parked and that defeats the purpose of a backhand huh yeah <laughs> no okay gary with the sidearm <laughs> oh I, I, um, oh boy. You what? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just. Zach knows. He yeah, needs to Zach get this up and down. Know. Very good shot. Now putting for birdie from there. Yeah. Decent shot. He was, he had trees in his way. Gary. Hmm. Laying it up. That's par though. Yeah. That's okay. Paul's like, but Eagle's better. Oh, especially. He runs everything. This is what's crazy to me about Paul and, and how good he is. Is From there, I'm thinking, I'm just going to get this and get easy birdie. He's right. thinking eagle. you know. Yeah. And Even outside circle two. With 30 with, trees in front of him. Yeah. On a slope. Uh. On a slope. With danger behind it. Yeah. But that's why he's four-time world champion. And I'm a no-time world champion, probably. <laughs> Here's Paul. Great putt by Zach, and it five down through eight holes. That's, really that's what you, that's what you want and what you need on this course. The back nine is very difficult, and you're trying to just give yourself as much of a buffer as possible. Yeah, and but as a group collectively, they played that hole really well. Yes. Hole nine, par three, 258 feet, really tight gap. 
Um, you want to throw a backhand turnover that lands softly down this hill. You have to beat a, about five or six bunker trees at, in between circle two and circle one right there. Also, sidearm um, is useful. Mm -hmm. A little harder to land soft on the on the green, but or you can do what Brian Earhart did and throw lefty forehand glide discraft glide flip up ace yeah you could also do that which yes, is the that'll best. work that's the best play obviously for the result that you got <laughs> james this is what i love about james oh he has all the power in the world but probably top five putter throwers in the world yeah and that's a and it's that, a great club to be a part of because yeah because it's five. useful to be able to throw and land your disc soft like oh and especially soft on like fluffy yeah and especially on straight shots that's mm -hmm. the thing about putter throws is they just go straight right paul paul's in the circle that's a really good shot also with the nova he just hit one of those bunker trees and gary, gary that's good yeah this is going to be good eh. a little short but just he, outside the circle he, he made he hit the, the gap he made the gap yes and Zach didn't quite hit the gap, and he's got some work. And where is he going? He's yelling for it to go. Um, he's going to have a decision to make whether he wants to run this. Right. For par, I'm guessing he's putting pretty well. He's he's running this. Yeah. I hope so. It's a lot shorter than yeah, I thought okay. as well. Give it to me. Let's go. Oh. There we go. That's like a redemption slow mez. Uh, and you can tell you, you can tell he's uh, He's got the sunglasses above the <laughs> eyes. Oh my that's a new that's a that's new. And you can tell he used to he played basketball in uh, high school and because <laughs> he lets go of the putt and he kinda holds his hand like he just Gooseneck? He, yeah, he just yeah. Dropped a three right in there, nothing but net. <laughs> Uh, too easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Paul McBeasy. Jonathan giving Paul the thumbs up there. Good putt, Paul. He did it. James doesn't get what? the stick. Left side no good today. Yeah, go back to the first round video of this tournament if you want to see... Uh, how left side putts are done. You know, it's crazy because Conrad's playing very well on this front nine, and he's also missed a couple sh kind of short putts for him. Well, thank you guys. That that rounds up the, the front nine. Paul McBeth minus 10, James minus 10, Zach minus 10, Gary wow. minus one. Kevin, Kevin Jones, Jones, though. Holding on at, you know, minus 12, but a bunch of good players right behind him. Thank you guys for joining us of the for the second round coverage, yeah. 2018. Idle Wild Open Gosh, presented the, by Innova. The back nine is just so mean. Yeah, come uh. back and see the brutality. Mm -hmm.